everyone, it's Rachel here. I hope everyone is well and welcome to my new subscribers. Uh, this is a very quick video um, to just do an Etsy update. I went to the antique market yesterday um, in the town where I live. It's on the first Sunday of every month. And normally I don't find that much there. There's a man that has um, the vintage embroideries. Um, but there was a man from Padova, which is about um, half an hour from Venice. And he was very lucky to find um, some very old grain sacks. And uh, he said they're very, very hard to find and rare. And he found them in Friuli, which is um, up in, let me think about it, North East Italy. So going towards the border of um, Croatia. And these grain sacks are approximately 100 years old. So I bought um, the nicest ones he had and I've washed them and dried them and I bought extras some for me and I've got four that I can offer in my Etsy shop. Now I will repeat these are very hard to find. They are hand woven hemp and they are minimum 100 years old and they are completely intact and um, quite large. Now I don't have my measuring tape here but um, I will show you what they're like and I will be putting them in my Etsy store by the time this video goes up. So I'll just move them out of the way and then I can show you. Um, so they'll have um, varying prices just depending on the size. Um, but if you think about it, it's like, um, you know, you purchase a yard of, um, of hemp, antique hemp um, for, what, say, 20 US dollars. Um, when you buy the grain sack, it's like you're getting, I think the, some of them are like, this one's probably a, a yard and a half. I might have to measure it. All of the measurements will be in the listing. Um, but um, it's double. So it's like, you know, you're getting way more. So this um, is a very um, kind of coarse, beautiful um, hemp. And you can see all of the hand stitching on there. And as you can see, it's intact. This is the other side. And it also has the gorgeous antique rope that they use to um, tie them up. And it has this beautiful, um, thicker sort of thread that's been woven in as they went, which I just love. It's very textual. Um, and these would be great to use to make um, bags, or you could um, get a really um, big pillow insert made, and it could go across the back of a couch or a a day bed or your own even your bed or you could make a few cushions out of it um, you can make pencil cases you can use them you know in your journal making as a, a gorgeous textural um, journal cover there's so many different possibilities that you could do with these gorgeous grain sacks and as I mentioned um, you do get so much fabric in them because they are double and I just want to show you here the beautiful I love it, the hand stitching. I love all of the um, unevenness and the messiness because, um, you know, it's all hand hand done. So over 100 years old. So that's the first one. This is probably the sh um, shortest one. I'm not sure. I haven't measured them. The next one um, has a green and red stripe. And this is softer than the other one. I have washed these. You can wash them. I would rec I've just washed them and dried them in the dryer um, they are very resilient and you could um, wash them again um, just to be sure but I did give them a good wash because um, they were quite dirty they'd been collecting up dust and things like that so this is the the green and red one this one is longer so um, this will cost a little bit more they are quite heavy um, so they'll be, probably go in the in the postal range of 350 grams to one kilo which is about 17 us dollars postage um, but as i mentioned you do get a lot of fabric in these so that that one's quite soft this one would be also lovely 
to do some um, embroidery like you could do embroidery with mixed threads on it and it's quite um, a loose ish sort of weave excuse my pronunciation um, so um, you know it wouldn't be hard to embroider this one it's not not some of them are quite fine and more difficult to embroider but this is loose and you can see it's just beautiful I love it um, I went actually went back to buy more because my mother-in-law was like oh my god you never find those go and get get more but when I went back to the antique market um, the gentleman had already packed up and I don't know if he'd sold them or if they're at the back of the truck but I didn't get any more which is a shame because I literally I go every single month I've been going for years and I've never seen them and I go and I also go to another huge market um, in Chisena every month and I never find them there I found them once but they weren't as nice as these so this is another one this one has a mix like a burgundy blue green and purple stripe through it and this is as big as the other one and it's a similar type of weave as well and it's very soft it's heavy but soft and again you have the original cord as well oh they're just amazing I couldn't believe my luck when I found them so it's very 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 excited about those so that that's the third one and here you can see and as you can see it's totally woven it's the same on the inside as the outside um, so yeah so that one's really lovely and then the fourth one I'm going to be selling which I just love this one as well um, this one's very soft too so this one could easily be embroidered um, this one has I don't know if it, I think it might be black, but it kind of looks like a grey, black, almost navy sort of colour stripe through it. And again, it's very soft, and this is a big one as well. Um, and you can see the hand stitching, it's all hand sewn, um, and I repeat, over 100 years old. And even the hem is hand stitched too. So um, this one does not have the cord. Um, and it has a hole here, which I just love. I embrace holes. I love them. If there's a hole, like I have pieces of antique hemp. Um, you know how I sell my, my hemp. I keep the bits with the holes because I love the holes. Some people don't like holes, but if, I mean, I would love, I love that. So, um, and there you can see the gorgeous fabric that they've woven in, um, as well to decorate it. So, um, and we have a little insect that, that will not come with the, with the grain sack little insect don't know what that is stop looking at me um so yep so that's the fourth one and then um these won't be going to my etsy shop but i just couldn't believe my luck yesterday i had the best time i was supposed to be working but i went to the antique cat now these are crumpled i just literally took them out of the dryer i got some really gorgeous embroideries um i'm going to scan some of these to use in journals because i love them so um, I got a whole lot and really gorgeous linens as well. So this is a this is like a cotton I think, but I love those um, really um, pretty coloured embroideries. And then this is on hemp. I love this and it's long. It's a runner. So really gorgeous embroideries to use there and also to scan. And then oh this one was with some Japanese or Chinese ladies. Um, I'm, I was thinking I bought that one just because I thought I might give that to my sis um, for Christmas because she loves that sort of thing. I got some Christmas embroideries because um, I want to do some a digi kit for Christmas and I have a few things to put in it. And I got really lucky this time. I found a whole lot with birds. I never normally find birds here in Italy, so I was really excited. And this is another long one too, so um, that's really cool and it's amazing stitching there. And then this one is one of my favourites. I couldn't believe this one. It's huge. And look at the embroidery on that. That's just gorgeous. I'm sorry the sun's shining in now, so it's probably ruining the light a little bit, the colours. Um, so that's that one. That was a big one. And then this is a runner. It's just I just bought this one. It's one of those cross-stitch ones. Um, I just love the colours in that. Really soft and pretty. And look at the detail there. Um, and that's a very fine linen and then another one with birds here and this is gorgeous this is a, a um, kind of a um, it's a linen it's a loose weave sort of linen I really like it very textural and it's it's hand embroidered and it's all autumn how gorgeous is that 
So, oh, why did the sun come out now? I chose to film here because I liked it and now the sun's come out. So um, I just love that one. And then this one's really big as well. This is linen. That's the back. <clears throat> now I have an eye on these. So just ignore that. I've got birds on it again and writing. And it looks like it is in German. Yeah, it's really pretty, this one. I don't think I'll be able to cut that one up or anything, but I might scan some of it. And then the, just this one here. So I was really lucky with the embroideries. Another Christmassy sort of one with this gorgeous Christmas tree that I thought I might scan and use in journals. And then um, this gorgeous linen. And it's got the thick um, DMC cottons embroidery on it. I didn't like the border so much, but I do. It's got a hole in it. Um, but I do like the... I didn't I do like the embroidery I think that's really cool that'll be nice scanned so that's that and then I mean I seriously had a good time yesterday just a minute here I come I found some books so this is just an old book it's in German this is pretty old 1862 ready to be altered and look at the lovely script and paper in that one so that one's really nice so you'll see that one coming and then just one of these um, over a hundred years. Oh, I didn't see that. Just a piece, old piece of paper with a burn in it. Um, that one's over a hundred years old as well. And the same with this one. Um, it's a mythological dictionary. So I like that one. <coughs> 1881. So I thought that was pretty cool. And then I found these gorgeous things. Now these are about 70 years old, but look at the covers. Now the and inside, look at that. Don't know what those little poos are. Um, but aren't they gorgeous? Just beautiful. So these will be altered into something. So here's another one. Look at that. Just gorgeous. And then um, this one. I thought this is going to be a Christmas journal. This is also going to be, I'm sorry about the sun. I should be, that one's going to be a Christmas journal. And I've got four more. Some of them will also be, I'll just grab them. Because I did go back and get some of those as well. Christmas journal, that one. Christmas journal, that one. How divine. This one will not, possibly not be a Christmas journal because it's this beautiful turquoise. And this one. Just love the covers they really got me so that was my haul from yesterday at the antique market I very rarely um, in my area get buy so much in at that particular one um, and just remember the gorgeous grain sacks will be going in my Etsy store later today so thank you for watching and I will be back soon hopefully with something creative bye